Hello, welcome. How are you today? My name is Alex. This is my yoga channel here on YouTube. I invite you to join me for lots of yoga flows. I occasionally post a short, oh, was that? Oh, just ash for my incense. Shorts showing kind of food or background things like playing with the plants. Maybe you'll see Caesar. This is an all levels flow. No props are required. Let's start standing at the top of your mat. Check in, stand evenly between the feet. Roll the shoulders down. Lengthen the back of the neck by not dropping the chin down, but lowering it slightly so that you're lifting the crown of your head up. Lift out of the arches. Bring your awareness to the present moment. To this inhale, this exhale. Arrive. Breathe in and reach the arms wide and overhead. Lift up, lengthen. Exhale, swan dive forward. Let's, let's hang out here for a moment, ragdoll. Let the upper body be heavy. Let the entire back body relax and lengthen. Press to stand. Inhale, arms reach wide and overhead. Lift up, grow even taller. Exhale, swan dive forward. Again, take a moment to just feel where you are today. Physically. Mentally, don't give too much thought to the mentally part. Press to stand. Inhale, arms reach wide and overhead. Lengthen and reach. This time, let exhale, lower the hands down to heart center. Commit to the present moment. Commit to kind thoughts be in this moment don't go ahead don't stay behind be right now all right all right inhale arms overhead lengthen and reach exhale fold forward halfway lift long flat back and from here hands down Plank pose. Lower all the way down to the mat for a quad stretch. Forehead on the left hand, right foot in, press the hips down. I hear machinery. All right, switch sides. and release. Flex the toes against the mat for an opportunity to squeeze the legs strong. Cobra, elbows in close, lift up halfway. And lower. Tabletop, child's pose. Let's widen the knees so we can get more into the hips. Press back. Elbows can be lifted or down. Bring the forehead down. Check in. Stay present. Relax your temples. Hands 
Hands walk in just enough to set up a thread the needle, right arm underneath, palm up. Again, bring the forehead to the left hand. So you're just stretching across the shoulder. switch so that the right ear is down left hand on top for a middle upper back twist keep the left sit bone or hip kind of down so that we're twisting in the torso release switch sides walk the right arm forward Thread the left arm underneath, palm up, forehead down. Switch so that the left ear is down middle upper back twist and release press up with the right hand and then tabletop one cat cow, inhale arch. Round, exhale. Neutral. Let's stay in the lower body. Extend the right leg back, keep the toes down. Let's press back and forth, stretching through the foot and the calf. And it's also a chance to make sure that the weight is in the front part of the palms. Lift the right leg up, keep it hip height, knee facing down. Bend the right knee and let's draw some circles with the right leg out, down and around. And bring the right foot up to the top of the mat for lizard lunge. Both hands are inside of the right foot. Let's stay lifted on our fingertips this time. You're actually building some strength when you do that. Some dexterity, be able to text forever. Did you know they don't teach cursive anymore? Let me know if you didn't learn cursive or do, well, do they do that in every language? My brain's waking up. Lower the chin, let's feel a little bit extra. So draw the core in gently and then lower the chin. Lift the chin back to neutral and then all the way up Extra is keeping the teeth closed. Release. Bring the right foot in between the hands. Half or full split. I'm gonna sit all the way back today. Caesar, come here. He's like right there. Arms reach wide and over, reach straight overhead and fold forward over the right leg. I don't like to think about time. Well, that's my job, not yours. But we're, ten we're about a little bit of a little bit of time into this practice. And notice if your mood has changed or elevated. I'm not going to lie, mine did. I feel better already.
Remember that you always have the opportunity to change where you are mentally. It's harder sometimes than it is, depending on the situation. But anyway, there's some wisdom this morning for you. Sit up, shift the weight forward to a lunge. Back knee will lift. Draw in the core as the hips start to open. Lunge, twist, left hand down, right arm opens. Right hand down. Lower the left knee, make your way back to a tabletop. Try to minimize the extra movement. Just scan right to left and breathe. One cat cow to reset. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Neutral. Left leg reaches back. Keep the toes on the mat to begin with. Stretch through the foot. Maybe you wear heels all the time, or maybe you always are like barefoot at home or wear flip flops because you're in Florida. It's good to pay attention to your feet, they're, they're kind of important. I think about like walking on cobblestones. So, like, if your ankles work, then you won't fall. Lift the left leg back and up. I think I'm interesting. Knee faces down. Bend the left knee. Circles. Intentional circles. Look for that wall that you hit. That's how I picture it. And then just explore any smoothness, any bumps that you might hit. Lizard lunge, left side, left foot steps up, and this time we will stay propped up on the fingertips. like we did on the first side. Let's tuck the chin, draw in the stomach, breathe. And then neutral neck, lift the chin, teeth closed is going to make this harder. Release, half split, bring the left foot to center or full split. If you've got that in you this morning or whenever you're watching this, I sh I don't, should I stop saying morning or telling you what time it is for me so that you can just always be present? Some, of, some people like my stories and chatting, fold forward. I think I'm just gonna go with the flow. Sit up, shift the weight 
forward, set up a lunge, lift the back knee, lunge, twist, right hand stays down. Left hand down, come back to a tabletop, neutral spine. Remember how we lengthened the back of the neck before by slightly lowering the chin? Let's do that here. Cat, cow, just one. Inhale, arch. Round, exhale. Neutral. Puppy pose. Walk the hands to the top of the mat. Keep the hips over the knees and bring the forehead down. Ooh, this feels good. Shift your weight forward, sphinx. Prop up on the elbows, forearm distance. Find some strength here by pressing down under the elbows, wrists, hands. Release. Tabletop. Downward facing dog. I think it's our first one. Ooh, hey, maybe remember, feel out something new every time. Let's find stillness because you have a strong body-mind connection right now. Press, feel the body lengthening within the pose. Lift onto the toes, tuck the chin and ripple through, upward facing dog. Lift the chin at the end and downward dog. Do that two more times, articulating so much through the spine, the head and the neck. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Once more. Downward dog. Mm, this just feels good. Lower the knees to the mat. Let's sit down and face the long edge of the mat, left foot in. Right foot out, sit evenly between the sit bones. I think my neck is hurting because I was stressed out. Left arm up and over. Yogis are people too, <laughs> or human, whatever. Good morning. Sit up, let's just switch sides, right foot in, left foot out. Right arm up and over. And sit up. Let's switch legs again. Left foot in, right foot out. Left arm up and over. Can you find that much more reach this time? Sit up, baby wild thing. Lean on the left hand, left shin, right foot, and arch. And lower down. 
arm side to side, rotate toward the right leg and reach up and over and across pinky edge of the right foot with the left hand, lengthen and twist. Sit up, switch out the legs. Right arm up and over. I just remembered I had one of my recurring dreams last night. Do you guys have those? Like, I know I'm in the dream. Baby wild thing. Lift up. And it's like, I've been here before. I remember this. It's this airport that I'm always in, in my dream. And it's always going to, like, the same couple of places. And we're always, like, there's a group of people that I'm with and we go to the airport to go somewhere else and then they like are to go home and they already are going on their next trip and I'm always envious. Arm side to side, but then I miss Caesar. Sometimes he's with me. Let's twist and rotate, reach for the left side of the left foot. And sit up, both legs out. Let's do this again. If this is too much, try sitting on a pillow. That'll make it a little more available. And we're just gonna walk forward. Try to keep the spine long as opposed to letting yourself round a bunch just to feel like you're closer to the floor. Relax the feet, keep the knees pointing up. Release, bring the legs in, sit up tall, sit up comfortably, roll the head and the neck around, shoulders roll back and down. Let's do eagle arms. Right arm under, left arm over. If this is too much, my teacher doesn't like this, but you can just practice hugging. Otherwise, find your eagle arms and let's just go up and down. You can let the upper back go, squeezing the elbows into the chest. And release, reach the arms wide and overhead. And switch sides, right arm is over this time, left arm under. Yes. We haven't done balancing poses much. Should start adding those in. There's so much for you guys to respond to as far as my chatter in this video. All right, reach the arms wide and overhead for a closing breath. Inhale, breathe in all the energy, the good thoughts, good energy, vibes you want. Exhale, lower the hands down. Close the eyes, soften your temples. Be grateful for your own presence, your mood, your mindset, wherever you are, no matter what. Just be grateful for your energy. I am grateful for your presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Hmm. Namaste. Let's see. Let's hang out on Instagram. I posted a cute picture of my birds on the story. Go check that out. And what else? If you wanna, if you wanna do me a, a solid, you could let check out some of my playlists, like my shorts playlist. 
and that'll let a bunch of things run. Fun fact, did you know if you let the ads run in a for on a YouTube video, the creator, if their channel is monetized, they get a kickback. So that was kind of shameless of me, but now you know. And yeah, I do that. When I watch some YouTubers, I'll just I'll let the ad play for them, which is kind way to pay it forward. Even though I have been doing this for free for a very long time, that could be fun. What else? That's all I got today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. What am I doing today? I should go for a walk. Okay, bye.